this is a part of the problem in our world right now where men are so seduced into having sex because it's so it's so freely available uh, that we get the wrong woman pregnant. And getting the wrong woman pregnant could be the downfall of your entire life. Yo, Elliot. Yo, Elliot. My girlfriend is 15 weeks pregnant and we have been arguing at least every other day for about two months. I get that she's going through one of those tough uh, body hormonal changes and is carrying my child. Despite that all, I believe she's legitimately not interested in being in a relationship with me. After we argue, it's always, uh, of course I wanna be with you, I do love you, I know I mistreat you and you shouldn't be treated like that. I'll do better because you deserve to be happy, she says. But her actions override all this when she cusses me out, says I'm not strong enough for her or can't handle her, does not want to put in the time, energy into fixing our issues. I know relationships are going to have ups and downs and everything is not going to always be perfect. It's been hectic. I've been at a low and maybe not being together is the right decision, but I'm not going to give up, especially on my family. How would you handle a pregnant girlfriend who says she wants to be with you her actions show otherwise and doesn't want to put the time into fixing your underlying issues that cause your everyday arguments. Good question. And the first thing I will add to this that I, that I want to offer you, and it's not going to help you at all, but it's something that needs to be said, is this is why men, we have to be very careful with who we drop our seed into. I understand this is your girlfriend. You may have been with her a long time ago. Now she's going to be your baby mama. But we got, this is a part of the problem in our world right now where men are so seduced into having sex because it's so, it's so freely available uh, that we get the wrong woman pregnant. And getting the wrong woman pregnant could be the downfall of your entire life. And I'm not saying she's the wrong woman and there are ways that you may want to deal with her, but I wanted to put this out there for the other men that are listening to this. Be very careful where you lay your head, right? I'm not talking about this head. Be very careful where you put it. And this is a part of the reason why I believe that it's better to not have sex out of wedlock. I know that sounds so old school. I know that sounds so weird to this world right now, but prior to the proliferation of promiscuity and getting pregnant out of wedlock, what men and women did was court. And courting basically meant that I am vetting you for your worth of having my seed. And that's, I mean, and that's a, that's a legitimate, serious process. People who apply for jobs, if you go for apply for a job for a, a, a major company, they're not just going to get in bed with you. They're going to have you fill out forms and take tests and do questionnaires and do all kinds of jumping through hoops to, sh to see if you fit in with their culture. The problem is that we don't even know what we want as men. And then we're putting our seeds in these women and we're ungrounded. We're confused. We're supposed to lead them. They don't trust us. They carrying babies. They emotional. And now we're all the blind leading the blind. Stop having sex with these women. This is how women gain power over men. Women have zero power over men. Zero legitimate power over men. The only power that women have over men is between their legs. And that we give them. We give our power away to a woman the minute we start having sex. You know, the whole idea of not having sex out of wedlock in the past sound, it was about like protecting the woman, right? Because she could get pregnant. But, but it's not that way anymore. It's about protecting the men because she could get pregnant because she will destroy your life and she will use the government as the hammer to smash you down. You will not win. And this is why a lot of men are going MGTOW and I don't blame them. I'm not saying go your own way, but I'm saying we have to have better standards for these women. Women will be out of control if men don't hold them to a standard. Don't have sex with bad women. Don't have sex with a woman that's putting on like she's a good woman until she's thoroughly vetted. Don't have sex with women that you aren't married to, committed to. Right? This whole idea that you need to try before you buy is a, is a lie. That's a, that's a made up lie. That's a 100% lie. You, when you get with a woman 
When you marry a woman, it's because she is shown worthy of being your helpmate. How she is in bed doesn't matter as long as she follows the commandment to spread them legs. Right? A woman and a man is the same way. It's woman and man. We owe each other sex. The, the, and the biggest, the biggest roadblock to a great sexual, a great sex life is just a woman that doesn't that just withhold sex. That's a totally different story. That's something that needs to be considered all of its own. But that needs to be a conversation that's, that's had before you even marry this woman. Hey, just by the way, are you aware that? When we get married, my body's not mine, yours is not yours. And when I want your body, you give it to me and vice versa. It's legitimately that way. That's why I said that in the Bible. St. Paul says it in Corinthians. Right? She becomes a part of your body. You become one flesh. But these are all things that we need to think of individually as men and we need to discuss as a culture of men. We really need to take our power back because your situation is actually probably what 80% of men are going to be dealing with. Why did I get this crazy chick pregnant? She's not even my wife. She was, she was cool for a little while and then she flipped out. Now she don't respect you. And here's another thing about women who seduce men through sex. They don't respect you. Women respect men. And no matter what they say, because they'll argue and it doesn't matter. And there's another thing. She's arguing with you only because you're arguing back. You need to stop arguing with her. But we'll talk about that in a moment. She knows she got you by your balls when you need her sex. Right? Let's go back to that. Y'all are arguing at least every other day for the past two months. There's no argument if there's only one person bickering. She start bickering, you just nod your head. Let's take a step back. There's oftentimes legitimate reason why women complain. Let's go there for a moment. There's oftentimes legitimate reason why women complain is because men are not holding up their end of the bargain. And when I say holding up our end of the bargain, it's not any of that valor shit about safety and security, protecting and providing. That's not what it is. Holding up our end of the bargain means that we're unmoved, that we're stoic and that we're strong and that we can handle their emotions. Just like she said to you, you can't handle her. Well, there's a, you can't. You're not. You're not handling her. Women want a man that can handle them, put them in their place. And it doesn't mean slap them around. It means, hey, I understand that you're feeling something crazy right now. I understand that you're in a mood right now. I understand that you're not happy right now. But I'm not going to go there with you. I acknowledge you. I'm listening to you. I'll give you a big hug and squeeze you till you stop. But I'm not going to get down there with you. I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole and, 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 and follow you down the road of this argument. I'm blessed in the fact that my wife don't do shit like that. But every once in a while... Every once in a while, I'll, I'll catch her, and I'm and I realize what she's doing, and I'm like, she's trying to drag me into a like a little. We don't even argue, but she's trying to drag me into a little bit of a tussle, right? Just a little bit of she just she just wants a little bit of a, a, a verbal wrestle, right? And I see, I see that, and when, and if I'm conscious, if I'm conscious and I'm aware, and I see that coming, I play dumb, like I don't even know she's doing it, right? Oh, all right. Oh, no problem, right? She kind of getting a little bit weird, a little bit angry, a little bit uh, emotional about something. I kind of play dumb. I'm like, oh, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know you were upset. Oh, is everything all right? What can I do for you? And then maybe tell a joke, maybe tickle her, maybe say, I try to say something funny. Most of the time, I just try to say something funny or try to do something funny or do something ironic to kind of like break to kind of break up the tension. If you can get a woman to laugh when she's in these moods, you own her. Right. Because what she's wanting in a lot of times is feeling she a lot of times women, just, they want they want an orgasm. They want an emotional orgasm. They want like your woman. She probably legitimately loves you. I believe that she does when she says she wants you. She wants she loves you. But when she uh, when she's when she's wrestling with you, she's testing you. She's testing you and she wants to know. Can I get a rise out of this guy? And some women they get off on that. They get off on that. I, I don't know if you're Latin, 
Well, I know these Latin women. That's one of the things. I know some guys. They like these Latin women that want to. That are so. They want to fight all the time, and they like it. And some people like that. The guys like that too. Ooh, and they call it. They like their makeup sex and stuff like that. Me, I could avoid all that. I don't need it. I'd rather not deal with that shit. But you got to be strong, bro, especially if you're committed the way you are, like you said, with regard to your family. And when I, make, when I say strong, I mean unmoved. I mean, she's throwing, she's throwing stuff and you're like, a, you're like the guy in the Matrix, right? She's throwing bullets and you're just you're doing that backwards move where the bullets are just... <laughs> right? It just the bullets are just moving right past you. Don't get upset. When she can drag you into the emotional turmoil, she owns you and she knows it. She knows your, your buttons and she can push them. And if a woman knows your buttons and she can push them, she's not going to trust you because she feels you're unstable. My wife explained this to me one time. She says, she, she says that um, she, does, she doesn't like it if another woman can, uh, can, can make her man emotional. If I get emotional about another woman, right? If, I, if another woman can like irritate me or upset me, she doesn't like that. And it's not because the other woman is upset, upsetting her, it's because it, show, it makes me look weak. It makes her man look weak. She doesn't want a man that, that's, that can be manipulated by another woman because, or even that she can manipulate, she said. I don't want a man that I can manipulate because if I can manipulate, her, manipulate him, other women can manipulate him. Right? They want to see that you're unfuckwittable. And they will test your metal. They will test to see if you can handle it. So, you know, in many ways, she's kind of doing you a favor. She's kind of like showing, it's almost like, a strength coach that keeps giving you heavier and heavier weights to lift or more and more challenging exercises. He don't know, you don't know, and he don't know your worth as a, as an athlete if you're not constantly challenged. And a woman in an unconscious way, because safety and security is so, is so important to her, in an unconscious way, she's going to challenge you. She's going to put, she's going to put you to the test. She's going to try her best to throw you off. Not because she wants you to be off. She wants you to win. She wants you to, she wants you to win. When you have these arguments, she don't want to win. And she don't really want an argument. She wants a strong man that's going to stay stable in the face of that chaos. That's really what she wants. And, that, and that's not what you're giving her. And that's why she said that you can't handle her. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from the coaching sessions that I have every week with my King Transformation students where among other things, we get together for about four or five hours a week. We talk on things related to becoming kings in our lives, in fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you, and you want to join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram, and then DM me the word king, K-I-N-G. Me and my team will get back to the details and see if you qualify to join us. Hope to see you at our next meeting. Done.